Hey guys, it's uh, Mr. G and Mr. Wells again. Uh, let's see, this is uh, unit four, day two, on uh, angle pairs. And uh, the four angle pairs that we're going to be discussing today are these ones right here, the vertical corresponding alternate interior and alternate exterior. These are our uh, congruent angle pairs. All these angle pairs are essentially going to be the same measurement. All right, so for vertical angles, uh, let me just uh, zoom in to the... Um, parallel lines cut by a transversal here, and let's take a look at uh, just angle one. All right, so angle one right here, um, its vertical angle uh, would be angle four. Um, it's kind of like a, a cross section. It forms that V and it points right at it. So if angle one was 79 degrees, since we know vertical angles are congruent, uh, angle four would be 79 degrees. Um, and just to kind of show you another one, uh, let's take angle six. Okay, see how it forms that kind of V for vertical? It points right to the other vertical angle, which would be angle 7. And once again, if this was, say, 54 degrees, angle 7 would be 54 degrees. Okay, second angle pair we'll talk about here, corresponding angles. Now, corresponding angles... We have four angles in this upper section of our transversal, and we have four angles down here in the bottom section. Corresponding, I like to think of a translation. If I were to take this pi up here, this one, and slide it down here, where would angle one land? Well, angle one is the top left section of this pi. It would land on angle five right here. That tells me angle one and angle five are congruent or corresponding, so if angle one was 127 degrees. That means angle 5 must also be 127 degrees. Uh, same thing can be said with angle 2. Angle 2 would land where? Well, angle 2 would land where on angle 6. So those are corresponding angles as well. All right, guys, so the next one is uh, alternate interior angles. And, uh, you know, the key uh, thing you really have to think about here is interior means inside. So we're talking about inside the uh, parallel lines. So you have these two parallel lines, the inside angles would be 5, 6, and 3, 4, and alternate means to go like every other. Okay, so we're talking about alternate of the transversal. So here, for example, let's take angle 3 right here. All right, we know it's an interior angle. The alternate would be as if I go across that transversal, and it's the other interior angle. All right, so these, angle 3 and angle 6, would be congruent, so if angle 3, let's say, would be, uh, you know, 37 degrees, then we know that angle 6 would be 37 degrees. And uh, the other pair would be angle 4, it's interior, it's inside that parallel lines, go down the transversal, go across, and it would be angle 5. Okay, alternate exterior really means um, almost the same thing, but opposite. Exteriors outside these parallel lines. So the outside ones, which are the ones on the, on the far outside, so angle 1 and 2 and 7, 8 are our exterior angles. Alternate means opposite, so opposite the parallel lines. So 7 outside, opposite is up here with 2. So we know that angle 7 and angle 2 are congruent. So if angle 7 was 30 degrees, angle 2 would also be 30 degrees. Alternate exterior. All four of these angle pairs congruent.